What's up everyone? Welcome back to Retro Rivals. This is a video that's a little bit late, but we will explain why as we go on. And today we're going to talk about Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I'm dressed like a more masculine Alucard, and you're representing you're re representing those stupid floating skulls, and you couldn't kill them. But you could soul steal a bunch of. You crap could, but you could never you kill them. Can't kill them, kill, but you. Can't kill it's them. a good way to get health. It is a good way to get health. Mm. So this is not your typical gamer education where you play the game and you then do a review on no. it. No. So this is a very complex game is that the best way to say it i think it's not a game where you can just be like okay i'm going to move for, through this linear just a hack and slash no for sure you need it well it coined the term did it not metroidvania, metroidvania. and it is Between it two. it's it's a great mix you're not yep. just gonna move linear across this game no. you're gonna have to go from point a to point c and back to b and so, then like all over the map since you're speaking Fantastic. of that do you want to show people what the map looks like there was some savants i guess in the late 90s that could just do this without a map i'm not phil, <laughs> phil i'm not we have two maps here and it's the same map, it's just upside down. It's so. not because it shows you where to get stuff. Well, yeah, I know. So you have to have both maps. Spoiler alert, if you don't realize it, it doesn't end at Richter. No. And if you need it, and if that's a spoiler alert. If that alert, was the end, then that was your bad ending. <laughs> that was your bad ending. Yeah. I just want to tell you guys right off the bat, too, we are not going to be your be-all, end-all information <laughs> session <laughs> for this game because... I'm thinking there's things, I know there's things we haven't discovered. Yeah. You made it to 165%, I think, around. around. there, something like I that. I made it to 175, 176, yep. but you can 200% plus this map. There yeah. are even extra things past the 200%, and I was just, I'm like, there's more? There's more than there well, was already more? I was in at 12, just, just over 12 hours yeah. of game. And I finished at just under 13, 13 hours. hours. At the first of the game, we should talk about that first battle scene that you yes. have. That you, there, you can't lose that scene. It's just, it's the, it's a, the actual, the last battle of um, Rondo of Blood. Rondo of Blood. Yeah. So you're playing as Richter at the time. You are. Yeah. yeah. Then once Phil all that's done. Phil was here. Done, he was my my guru. Yeah. And he he didn't realize he was helping me play the game I was picking for his gamer's education. And that was fantastic because he knew this thing inside and out. Even when I went in the keyhole, he's like, press it twice. <laughs> and then I was like, right where I needed to be. I'm like, how'd you know it was twice? And he was like, it, it, I'm the guru. Well, it's it's portal and I think it goes clock, it counterclockwise. Does go. It does go counterclockwise. It does it or is it clockwise? I'm pretty sure it goes counterclockwise. So right off the bat, Richter is fighting Dracula. And I was like, um, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Not ready for this. I just pick this controller up how yeah. in the world am i supposed to do this it's just a flashback scene you can't yeah. die then you go into the game you're like super speed running into the castle you just get through the thing and then it, the door closes on you and yeah. you've got an awesome weapon you, yeah, for about five seconds talk to the reaper yeah and he's not having any of it no nope. thing so he strips he you of strips everything. You everything and so you go in barehanded so. yeah barehanded no mm -hmm. armor when you start to play the game you will find that Damn this game. This game is a bit hard. It's, it's, it's mm. kind of grindy there, but it, give it a few hours. You're picking up items. You're getting okay. better weapons. And the more stuff you get because it has an RPG element, you, your character gets stronger and stronger. It's not nearly as grindy. You can get whipped through those yeah. different rooms a lot faster. I shocked Phil when I pulled something off that I didn't even know I could until I did it. I had, there is different um, little power-ups you can get. So you can get this knife that you just kind of throw dagger after dagger yeah. after dagger. It it's your magic, right? It is. Yeah. And there's, you got hearts on the screen. So that dictates how many throws of that. Now they're all, not all one heart per 
item. The knife, the dagger. The is. dagger is, but there's different things that cost more hurts. Yeah, there's a like the stopwatch looking thing. It costs stops more. Stops time. Exactly, and that's yeah. the one I wanted to talk it uses about. Way more hurts. When I went in to fight my doppelganger, <clears throat> I don't know that Phil thought I was exactly prepared, or he was like, "This is gonna take you a couple tries." Yeah. I by mistake hit my cl my stopwatch. Yep. completely froze my doppelganger and I was like ching, 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 and took him out and Phil was like Kill I've him. never done that before I'm like, <laughs> like well, well, I'm here to school you on how yeah. to play the game but it was a complete but Phil actually likes the fight he likes he to make it like harder on himself he for does some reason. Yeah. and I want a game to be harder challenging but challenging fun. enough but still fun if it's um too challenging then I I just don't even know if I'm ever capable of beating the game. There are spots in the game <clears throat> that are more difficult than other spots. Yes. yes. It, depending on how equipped you are. Exactly. That's why you should print off that map and you know what's coming up. I got into one spot, it was in the inverted castle where I hit my yes. doppelganger and I was not equipped and he just destroyed me. You have to be powered up enough like, to We had up. different challenges, there's different Ooh. gameplay styles. We did, yeah. I struggled immensely in the inverted castle against the reaper i think he killed me eight, like eight times wasn't a hard one for me although you didn't get to go up against bezel buzz and that was an enemy i couldn't defeat and it wasn't because it was necessarily hard the there's bumblebees or whatever these overgrown bee looking creatures that are surrounding bezel buzz and they come down and you just have to move out of their way as long as you just move across the screen they come out down at you at like a diagonal pattern and i was throwing uh soul steel soul steel at bezel buzz and i had no problem taking off his lower limbs but i didn't know how to get to the top of him it was just weird i still didn't beat him i'm sure people know how to do it now phil told me back in the no Next. and back in 97 when the game came out there was no, no going online and figuring out he said he literally just got Press. to a spot and just would just start hitting combinations of buttons yeah until something happened and then when you go into your spells, spells, spells yeah so then when you go into that spell menu they actually show up so yeah before that it just says spells, but then it's a blank. It's, it's all blue. Blank, There's nothing there screen. until you actually do the spell and then it unlocks it, shows it on the screen so you know what to hit. Yeah. We were both having a hard time at first yes. nailing Soul Steel. We were. So, what made it easier for me to nail the spells a little bit easier is that I switched controllers and I'll show you the difference. <clears throat> this is a regular PS2 controller. This is what we used at first. Yeah. And, uh, the old d-pad they have there my thumb was like ready to bleed i still have a blister <laughs> and i finished this a couple weeks ago did i not yeah you were raw <laughs> it so was like down to the bone I, I remembered that i had a controller it's a third party controller yep. sitting in amongst the pile of junk i have there for all this other stuff and at the time back then i just got it because it was a, ch a cheap controller and we I've were never always been playing. happier that you've been a hoarder yeah yeah right mm -hmm, yeah. so I, it was a cheap controller back then i probably didn't pay very much at all it's called Hip Gear. Yeah. Hip Gear Analog Controller. It's compatible with the PS2. And uh, you'll see, we'll take a picture of it. It has the select button. It has turbo, but that turbo doesn't work. Oh, whether no. it's just on this game or not, I have no idea. There's a clear button that it didn't work for this game. And you have a start button and the analog, but you don't use analog for this one. Exactly. But the best part about it was the D-pad. Yeah, it's like the a D -pad, rolling D-pad. It was very much like a very short analog stick yeah so to roll it and hit your spells was just so much better oh so much easier on the thumb like it you didn't was. have to move you just you just you just hit what you needed now i did play the first the very first part of the castle completely with the original hardware with the playstation controller and since we're talking about this I, I was like, Same I don't know that. if I can, I don't know if I can switch over. I don't know if I can do this. Well, okay, well, what, what happened? The, re the reason why I'm in on this talk is... <laughs> You're part of it. What happened, she started playing the game before me. Yes. And uh, you were playing it a, a few days. You were yeah. about, what, 10 hours into it? I was more than 10 hours into it i was on the inverted castle just started the inverted castle no, no? i had one relic left to get oh. i had scott why do you think i was so upset <laughs> let me say this first 
I'm pretty sure I fated this to happen. What did I say to you? I wish I would have played this game from the start and not had any help because I feel like I missed Phil out. Because helped And a lot don't get first. me wrong. I loved the help. Yeah. But when I was going into this gamer's education, I, it felt like maybe I had copped out a little bit by letting yeah. Phil walk me through. You're not getting the true struggle. Well, let yes. me tell you, she got the true struggle. I got struggle. every struggle. She got the gamer education. Of all education. time there. So we're going to show you the actual game capture of this. <laughs> yeah. It was on your second break. I was at work. Yeah. And you were texting me uh, while you were playing the game. Yeah. And you done screwed up. And what did you do? I erased my entire save file. I spent nearly an hour and a half, two hours online. I called several local pawn shops that specialize in like video game stuff around town, trying to find out if I could get, there's this, there's this apparatus that you- There's can, this apparatus. It's, <laughs> it's an adapter, which yeah. you can hook a PS1 or PS2 memory card to and then it has USB on the other end. And that's it was made to put your save files on your PS3. Yes. But you can also hook it to a computer. You can also hook it to a computer. So in my mind, as somebody who has uh, dealt with SD card issues, you don't always, as long as you don't fill up your SD card afterwards, you can most times find those deleted yeah. files. It stores on your SD card. So. I was like, aha, I'm gonna maybe, fix this. maybe I can figure this out. And the more time passed and the more I looked online, I was like, no, no, uh, no. And I went upstairs, completely defeated. My son was sitting on the couch and I looked at him and I said, I deleted my entire save file. And he's like, what? I'm like, for Castlevania, I deleted my entire save file. And he almost cried. He cry, He almost cried because he has felt the pain of deleting. Everybody has lost, either law like deleted, <sighs> corrupted files. I I when I put my memory card in, I had five corrupted files, and I don't even know what they were now. So whatever they were, they're gone. Between your struggles of deleted files and blisters on thumbs, this was a very good gamer education for This you. was the gamer education. This was the a- struggles, it's not all friggin' lollipops. It was, it was an unicorns. authentic <laughs> PS1 experience like no other because I have played older titles, but on newer systems, so I didn't have to worry about this. So yeah, I just, <clears throat> I hadn't had that experience and I guess it's part of the fun. It's a part <laughs> of what gaming was back in 1997 when this game came out. Yeah, yeah, so. Oh. I had said, fuck you to this game for a, <laughs> she, a little bit. She had fuck you written all over her face when I got home from work that night. And I was like, I didn't do it. I don't know what's wrong with it. Who do I come home tonight? She was not a happy camper when I, wasn't. I got home. So what happened is like after she deleted her file and all that, I said, I'm gonna help her out. And I said, well, what will happen? Cause she, she didn't even want to play it at that point. She was I defeated. Didn't. I said, you know what? I will play it and get you back to the close to the same point where you were and then we will make two, two saves, saves on two different memory cards. Don't touch my memory card. <laughs> and then you can play on and finish the rest of the game. Exactly. And that's what happened, so. Yeah, but it was great because we haven't had to, haven't been able to have one of these gamer education together. series together yep. because we're always so busy or I'm playing something and you're already playing something at the same time. So it's so, I, I don't know how people do it where they play multiple games at once. <laughs> I have uh, I have I'm, this like I need to finish this before I move on. I'm kind I have of, to. I'm kind of in that because I. But I, you don't. I've got. You don't want to be. I think no, you, but I'll get in the mood that day where I don't want to try that game and then I'll try something else. And I literally just finished Castlevania Symphony Night yesterday. Yeah. And so. And we didn't think you were finishing it yesterday. I didn't think, but after I got that item, I blew through it. I yeah. blew through it. There. What's his name? There. Uh, Shaft. 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 I laughed. You're just like <laughs> Shaft. <laughs> you done? I, yeah, it was nothing. And then I got to Dracula and killed him. It was easy. Yeah. It was easy. Well, I kept telling Scott, I'm like, okay, there's Do going this strategy. To be... And I just went in and... I'm like, like there's going good. to be triangles. And this is... The... Didn't even get to that. You didn't even get to that. This nope. is the best way I feel for myself 
to defeat Dracula, and you guys will see it too. Um, I put my fairy card on because I had some uh, golden apples. The golden apples. Golden apples. Or so life apples. Life, life apples. apples. I had some life apples, and they will completely regenerate your life. They bring like, you back to life. They bring you back to life with your full yeah. health and everything. So as long as you have the fairy equipped and you die, she'll bring you back. Exactly. I found that staying on one side of his claw, facing the outer screen, and then like back swinging, swinging with your sword. What? No, it wasn't a sword. It was the oh, shield rod. Oh, shield rod. Yeah. yeah. That swinging with that, you'd hit him on the back swing and take that. Yeah. When the orb came up, that was easy to dodge. And then... I just went into my mist form. You went, went into your mist it, form. It, I just did it at an instant because that's what I was doing every time I get attacked by something. That but it, I can't avoid this. I went into so my mist. It's so slow moving it, that you just get out of the way of it. it you mist. just, you have like a lot, you probably have a second of yes, mist. So you, you have to time that attack perfectly. perfectly. You know when it's going to hit you and you go into your mist form and it goes through you and then boom, yep. you're good. That was a complete fluke. It was. I fluked that. But, but it worked perfectly. Yeah. And then when those three triangles come out and they form a triangle that... I never even get to see it. You didn't get to see it. But all I did, because I had my shield rod and I had my Alucard's uh, shield on, mm -hmm. that I used that attack and... <laughs> the unicorn attack, whatever it, that is. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that does. <laughs> I don't know why. It, a couple it times. worked great right there and you don't lose any... Uh, health uh, points. I tried it a couple times with it because Phil it has sent you a message saying to try this. It's not useful any other place. I but tried it. I'm like, what the fuck is this bullshit? My Unicorn. Pony, yeah. My little pony. My little pony. <laughs> like, and then you die. die it's die, not. Die. It's not useful anywhere else except for it was, against your uh, last yeah. battle. Yeah. I'm like, what the but frig is this? It was. Yeah. It was something. Anyway, getting that sword probably ruined the ending of the game for me because I blew through it so easy. It, sh it, it was so easy. Harder. I looked at her and I said, is, is that, that it? Is that and it? I, and I was like, did I kill him? I think so. It took like 10, 15 seconds. Yeah. I was like, is that it? Dragula's pussy. <laughs> 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 like a joke. It did make him kind of a joke with that. And I'm happy that I got to grind through the end of that. It took me quite a few tries to it's, kill Dracula. It makes games more fulfilling, and you have to yes. struggle a little bit. Struggle enough. There's a fine line of struggle, and then finally beat it, and then you're like, oh my god, that was such a good game, or struggle to the point like, holy F, I'm gonna throw this controller through the TV. Immediately, when I finished beating Dracula, I took a little uh, video of the end clip and then I sent it to Phil and I'm like, I did it, Phil! You're so proud of me, aren't you? And he was like, that's awesome! As we were resetting up the camera here, or focusing, I got in my head this, uh, some of the music from the, the game. It was, dun, 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 dun. You know oh, what no. I'm talking about, Yes, right? yes, yes. Now, yes. since we're talking about the music, the soundtrack on this game is phenomenal. Yeah. And if you have the <clears throat> actual PS1 game, like we yep. do, you can throw that don't in throw your... It. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. But you can put it put in your it in CD, CD player, player and play listen it. to the soundtrack. Like, what game does that? There was even, like, sure hidden more. secrets yep. from the disc itself. So, you would put this in your top ten. I, I would dare to say this is in my top five. But next year... Yes. Well, I oh, it might even be in my yeah. top five. It's wow. I didn't like I said. I didn't expect much from a game from 1997, and even from the yeah. very first, you're like, this was made in '97. Yeah. The rooms all look very different. That background, that moving background, it's beautiful. Before we decided to sit down and talk about this, uh, we actually watched a couple of uh, YouTube videos. Their review. And then one was My Life in Gaming, where it's more of a documentary style, oh. talking about it. Yeah. And then I was like, oh shit, I gotta play Rondo of Blood. This yeah. thing looks awesome there now. I wanna mention how we played this game, because yeah. there are there's a ton of different ways to there play this game. There is a ton of different ways. We actually, we played it, you can see on the original hardware. We yeah. played it, but well, we played it on the PS2. Yeah. And we have a uh, 30 37 Seven. inch uh, CRT TV. Yeah. And then I have uh, output coming from that TV 
that goes HDMI so that we can game capture. Well, what I ended up doing is I I send that through a splitter, which goes to the TV, which yeah. then I have the sound outputting to my amplifier, which is going into my surround sound. I know it sounds complicated. So anyway, you just turn the picture off on the TV because yeah. our TV has a function. You can turn it on, do whatever, turn the picture off, and you still have sound. So we have the surround sound, and it then was fantastic. but we're playing it on the CRT old school. When Phil was here, I was like, man, this sounds good. He's like, yeah, this is, this oh, is yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah. It was the really best way good. to play it. Yep. It was the best way. And it shouldn't make that big of a difference, but it did. Uh, my wonderful builder, awesome husband, made a new stand for the CRT TV yeah. for the functionality of having all of our old systems in there going all at once. And all of our consoles are pretty much up and going that you can go and play anything here. We've got 17 or 18. Well, I count it nine on there. Yeah. 18 plus the four minis that are hooked up. Yeah. I have 22 consoles ready to go at push of a button. At the push of a button. And they all work and it, and it works great. Yeah. Everything works great. With switchers so, and everything. Yeah. So he built that and the stand is not that much taller than the original stand, but enough yeah. so that like it's right at your eye level. It's wonderful. Yeah. At first when he wanted that CRT TV, I was like, we don't have anywhere for this. What does it make a difference? But everything Who fits cares? Up. I designed the, the room. game room around what I wanted in. I don't regret for a minute picking that TV up. And well, I do regret picking it up because it's heavy. <laughs> One metric done. Yeah, but <laughs> it was a free, it was free. The TV was free. But then we were like, well, I need to stand for it. And I started thinking about how much, well, we're getting off topic anyway there. But we're yeah. But we ended up buying the stand later on. You have to play it on a CRT TV if you're playing original If hardware. not, if, if you don't have that, I would suggest Boots be quiet. I would suggest Boots be quiet yeah. too. I would suggest getting the... Uh, PS4. PS4 is like a bundle where you can get Symphony of the Night, Rondo of Blood, maybe a bunch of other ones there. I I'm not sure. Um, there was that compilation I'm pretty pack. sure. Yeah, it's a compilation pack. I'm pretty sure that's how Phil played it this yeah. time around. Yeah, it, but that I, seemed like it was a good option. This is an expensive game now. It is not cheap. And what did you... I think I was in just in around the $150 Canadian. And book value, it is... It's it's around there, but it they're hard to come Do by. Do I regret it? Do you regret it? Absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. No. It it was something that was on your wish list. Yeah. And Phil put it on his uh, request for the gamers education, and it gave also, us like a jumping point for like, hey, let's get this game. Also, Modine Design had it on his he the did. previous month. He did. Uh, I think we're pretty much done. I think we've talked about everything we can about Castlevania and uh, yeah, if you haven't played it, find a way to play it. Find a way to play it. Have, have a Father's Day, Mother's Day gift and get it for your loved one. Yeah. 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 Anyways. What are you gonna get me for next Father's Day? I don't know, whatever you tell me to. <laughs> Not a girlfriend. <laughs> End it. End. End. No, you end it properly. Game on. What do I work with? That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs>